Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to design a gyroscopic fidget keychain using Tinkercad's code blocks. Before we begin, I'd like to give credit to Gianfranco Franco, as my design is based upon theirs, and they also gave me some advice for creating my own. That being said, let's get right into it. In Tinkercad, we will first click Create New Design, and we will select Code Blocks. Once everything loads in, I'm just going to rename this so that I can find it easily in the future. You should name yours something that you'll be able to find yourself as well. After that, we can start. The first thing that we'll need to do is go to the Modify tab, and we'll drag in a Create New Object command. After that, we'll go to Shapes, and we'll drag in a Sphere. Next, we'll click on this arrow and we'll change the radius of our sphere to 25. We will also change the steps to 568. This is to create a more round and smooth sphere so that our keychain spins better. After that, we will drag in a tube, and we'll click on this arrow. We will change the radius of our tube to 5. The wall thickness we will keep at 2.5, but the height over here, we will change to 15. After that, we can drag in a move command, and we will set Y to 27. After this, we will drag in a sphere. This one we will turn into a hole by clicking this gray circle. We will then click this arrow, and we will change the radius to 23. We will also change the steps to 568 as well. And then we can drag in a create group command. After that, we will go back to shapes, drag in another sphere. This one we leave solid, but we'll click on that arrow and we will change the radius to 22.5. And the steps again, we will change to 568. Then we drag in another sphere. This one will set to a hole with that gray circle. And we'll change the radius to 20.5. And the steps we will change to 568. After that, we can drag in Create Group once again. The next thing that we'll do is drag in another shape. In this case, a sphere again. This one we will leave solid, but we will set the radius to 20 and the steps to 568. We drag in another sphere. This one we change to a hole. We set the radius to 18 and the steps to 568. After that, we drag in a create group command. Go back to shapes sphere. This one will set the radius to 17.5 and the steps to 568. We drag in another sphere, use that gray circle to change it to a hole, change the radius to 15.5, and we'll change our steps to 568. Create group shapes, drag in a sphere, change the radius to 15, steps to 568, and we drag in another sphere. This one we change to a hole, we'll set the radius to 13, and the steps to 568. We'll drag in a create group command, and then we'll drag in two more spheres. This one will click the arrow. We'll change the radius to 12.5 and the steps to 568. The second one will change to a hole using that gray circle and we'll change the radius to 10.5 and the steps to 568. And we can drag in create group and our last two spheres. 
Let's drag them both in. That first one will leave the radius at 10, but we'll change the steps to 568. The second one, we'll change it to a hole using that gray circle. And we will set the radius to 8. And one more time, 568 for the steps. Then we can drag in a create group command. Now if I hit fast forward and play, we can see that not a lot is happening. This is because all of those spheres are inside of each other and we can't see them or be able to flick them to rotate them around like we would a fidget toy. So we'll have to free them next. In order to do this, we'll go back to the shapes and we'll drag in a box. We'll change this box into a hole using that gray circle. We'll click this arrow and we're going to change the width of this box to 80 and the length to 80 as well. The height we will change to 25. After that, we will drag in a move command and we're going to set Z to 20. This is going to cut off the top part of our outermost sphere. Next, we'll drag in another box. This one we will also change to a hole with that gray circle. We'll set the width to 80, the length to 80, and the height to 25. Then we can drag in another move command. And this one we'll set Z to negative 20. After that, we can drag in a create group command so that those boxes, which are holes, will remove the top and bottom of our keychain. And then we'll drag in one final move command to move everything on our fidget toy up to be flat with the build plate. For this fidget, uh, fidget keychain, in order to move it to the correct height, I'll set it to 7.5. Now, if we hit play, we can see everything play out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you liked it, please consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel so that you can see more content when I come out with it. In my next video, I intend to show you how to make your own custom fidget, key fidget keychain where we will change out some of these inner rings for a logo or other shapes. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.